first, tell me your full name. Uh, Jonathan Michael Coleman. And how would you go by? Johnny. I go to school at Roots Charter High School. I've been there for four years. This is my senior year. I just like how it's a little community and how everyone is connected and engaged with one another and the teachers are willing to help everyone and the teachers and the students have very strong relationships. It's like a second family for most students there. 243 is, um, it's, it's a, this little uh, motto that everyone goes by at Roots and, and if we go by 243 it's not just the number, it has a meaning by the number. So. It's we love you, two, the two letters is W and E, the four letters is love, and the three letters is you. Other times they say one, four, three, which means I love you, this is all a big family, pretty much. That's what 243 is basically about, it's what symbols roots. My freshman year, I uh, went to, um, I skipped school because I wanted to go with my uh, siblings and uh, my mother to the pool so we could swim and I wanted to do this trick off of the diving board that I've done since I was nine. It was a double front flip and I was uh, on my trampoline, I was practicing it before I went to the pool. And uh, when I opened my eyes I freaked out in the air and I went straight down on my neck and I broke it. And I got paralyzed from the neck down and and they told me I, that I wouldn't walk like I was I was shocked I didn't know what to think that night I was like so many questions were in my head like what about my future I can't do this I can't do that what what's next for me and I went to bed that night like I was out of it for three days just I had so much nightmares and it was just it's like a roller coaster you go up and you're not expecting it, and then you go down, and then you're stuck down there, and then, like, pretty much the whole time I was in the hospital from the ER then to the rehab, it was, it was a roller coaster, pretty much. The first week, when I was back and around my friends and stuff, I kind of, I struggled, but I, I really did. I, I got sad, and, like, I mean, I was happy that I was back, but I just still got that feeling in me like, man, I can't go with them. I used to be all over the place and then I'm kind of stuck in a chair and you're watching all your buddies. They, they go do what you used to do with them and it's hard to, it's hard to try to find a way to cope with that. Like you're not able to do so much stuff with them as, as you did. It's kind of tough dealing with that the first week but after the first week I just got more back involved with my environment and my friends and my fellow students and teachers and went back to being Johnny being me and I just had some struggles but we all do as all people we all have struggles of different kinds it could be like mentally physically or just because you never know what someone's going through and Sometimes they'll act like they're fine, but other times they're not. I know that from experience. I missed the 243 assembly um, because I was in rehab, but I but I just saw the number 243 everywhere and I didn't understand it. I was like, what's that number everywhere? And then Larry later on figuring out what it was about. It's like, wow, okay that we love you I was like heck yeah they do because after my injury like I said I struggled um, and I didn't think they ex ex would accept me or they would treat me differently and it turns out they didn't they treat me they treated me just the same as they would before my injury which really means a lot to someone in my uh, in my situation I've I still struggle a little bit with accepting that I'm in a chair but the school helps me recognize that I'm still Johnny despite being in a chair.